And after losing a bet with his buddy, is forced to, for the first time ever, do stand-up. So uh, please give a warm welcome to my good friend, Marcus Cole. Oh! Oh! I never done this before, ever. It's the first time ever. No gun. Sorry, I've never done this before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my last piece. Um, I'm from Sweden originally. I lived here for a few years now. Uh, anyone else in here from Sweden? Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice. All the way over here just to see me, huh? Cool. Um, well, when I came off the plane, I was really excited about coming to America, and uh, um, I got taken into immigration. And you're American. You know, you wouldn't know this, but it's like. Uh, you get treated like a terrorist. There's me and uh, 200 Mexican guys in there. And, uh, you know, they ask all these questions. And I'm, I'm from Sweden. We haven't been to war in 400 years. <laughs> we weren't even in World War II. Our position in World War II was witnesses. That was us. Um, but, you know, you, you get this, these questions that you asked, and uh, you have to fill out this, this sheet. And the first question, by the way, your homeland security is really sophisticated. Question number one, are you a terrorist? <laughs> Question number two, do you have any intentions of killing the president? <laughs> this is real, these are questions on there. Um, but anyways, we get told what to do and what not to do when we, uh, when we are in the United States. And uh, no one told me that dressing European in America is the same thing as being gay. <laughs> the first indication was uh, when, I, when the immigration officer was like, uh, married or single? And I'm like, I'm married. He goes, yeah, what's his name? <laughs> and uh, I guess I still kind of dress European, but I'm not gay. My boyfriend is, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up. Excited about Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah. Every year I get asked, what do you do in Sweden for Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, Native American population of Sweden is pretty small, so we don't, <laughs> we don't do that much. Um, and, you know, it's, it's funny because I come over here and it's like, oh, you're from Sweden? Oh, yeah. Shmoody, woody, woody, woody. And I didn't get it for the longest time. I did not understand it until I watched the fucking Muppet show. <laughs> really? That's the extent of your international knowledge? The fucking Muppet show? Oh, your chocolate is really great. Yeah. Yeah, our chocolate actually is really great, but you're thinking of Swiss chocolate. Oh, your cheese is so good. Yeah, it is, but you're thinking of Swiss cheese. <laughs> I do love America, though. I do love America. I came over here, I didn't realize how segregated America is. It's very, very segregated. But I'm a positive person, I'm very optimistic, and I realized this is great, you know? Phone and me, a black girl, that's, that's great. All I have to do is... Uh, Go to a hip hop club, but when I meet an Asian girl, all I gotta do is go to the scene of a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanna meet a young single Latina, all I gotta do is go to Planned Parenthood. Oh. <laughs> it's good fun, it's good fun, it's good fun. No, but it, it's cool, like, I, I really like, you know, I'm from Sweden, everyone over there, blonde, blue eyes, gorgeous. Sucks, you know, it gets boring after a while. Um, <laughs> also, the number one country in the world with one night stands. <laughs> so, I came over here, you know, and obviously it tracks, I guess, and uh, had a bit of jungle fever, not gonna lie. And uh, black American women, they're, they're amazing bodies. Um, a lot of fucking attitude. <laughs> <laughs> it faded quickly into yellow fever. <laughs> Which almost killed me, not through. I had yellow fever. Uh, something wrong with that pussy. Uh, and then I call to the Spanish flag. Latina. Amazing. And uh, it was great. And just one day she said, Marcos, why don't you marry me? 
And I said, Schmoke, Modi, Modi, Modi. Bitch slashed my tires. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Costed me a thousand dollars for new tires. Man, this Montezuma's fucking revenge, isn't it? <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, I teach self-defense, I train law enforcement, so I'm feeling like living in America and it's a great country and uh, I want to give back. And so I train law enforcement, I train thousands of officers and you know, I figured if they're going to abuse the power, I might as well teach them how to do it properly. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I figured uh, why not do it the right way. Um, but I don't just train law enforcement, I also uh, train regular people that are not in, in, in law enforcement. Uh, and one of the biggest thing is, things is the um, weight loss and obesity. Like, I mean, you Americans take obesity to a different level. Right? Really. <laughs> I'm concerned. I'm concerned about your well-being. Uh, I really am. And um, you know, it's it's not that hard. Like, it's the number one killer in this country. You know, we ha we don't have the cure for, for cancer, but we do know how to fucking cure obesity. And it's not that difficult. When, when we fight, when I get ready for a fight, I lose 25 pounds in six weeks. 25 pounds in six weeks. I got my girlfriend to lose six pounds in a day. The, the abortion was hard on her, but she's doing another one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my name is Marcus Kova. Thank you very much for coming out. Yeah, I'm coming. It's pretty good. It's pretty good.